What is up you guys? You're watching Surgery Secret. Before I get started with today's video, I want to say hi, what's up? Happy month of April. I was going to say Mayo because time goes by so fast. And without further ado, let's get started with today's video and all the links for every single handbag will be linked down below because sometimes they do is disappear on the main website. So I like to have a direct link. And today's video is going to be my top 10 favorite sale handbags finds across the internet. This literally took me two hours to find under 250. Well, there is one I am cheating, lo estoy mintiendo con ustedes. One that is 270, but I have a good reason on why it is here. But without further ado, I'm gonna scoot to the side and I'm gonna show you my favorite handbags. And if you guys get any of these bags, if you guys are interested or have any bags, I'd want to hear it down on the comment sections down below. And yeah, let's go ahead and get started because estoy hablando demasiado, and you guys know I talk way too much. So the first three bags we're gonna be talking about are from the Coach Factory or the Coach Outlet. There are two styles that are made for the Coach Outlet that I'm gonna be showing you, and there's one that is full price. Now, this one is the full price one, and it is the one over the 250 mark, but I just had to include it because I still cannot believe that this bag has been in stock the last few days, and I believe this bag could sell out any moment, so I did wanna share it with you. It is the Row 25 in Signature Textile Jacquard. And if you see this, the handle of this is kind of like a darker brown. And the rest of the leather is kind of like a pale pink with the signature canvas. I do like that the handle is a little bit darker because it, it will wear a little bit nicer as the oils touch your hand. And this bag retails for $6.75 and it is $2.70. A classic rogue. I think there is nothing that looks super seasonal about this bag. I feel like this bag you can wear it right now for the spring and summer. Since the handle is a little bit darker, I find that you can transition it into the fall and to the winter easily making it one of your transitional bags that you can wear all year round. And rogues typically don't go on sale. And usually the rogues that do go on sale are the really quirky ones. But like I said, for me and my eyes, I don't see this handbag as quirky. I don't see it as like super seasonal. I think that this is a bag that you can have in your closet and you can pull out two years from now. You guys know we love items that we can leave in our closet for a season or two. And then, you know, right now, you know, shop your own wardrobe. You know, you look through your little cabinets, you look through your little handbag collection oh baby this goes with right with my outfit with this white blouse let me pick it up and wear it so if you guys have been looking at this i would highly suggest it it is a rogue they never go on sale and the fact that it's been there and it's 60 percent off i think you should definitely go for it size 25 it is a little bit on the smaller side but i think that this is a perfect everyday handbag size the next one is going to be the molly toe 25 and straw this one retails for 450 dollars and it is 180 and it is 60 percent off it comes in a uh, gold and it comes in black the one i'm going to talk about is the gold one so this is kind of like their style of the tory birch peri toe but what i like about this that this is a very classic handbag classic looking but it just has a fun seasonal twist to it i think for under 200 bucks if you don't want to get like a, a basket bag from loewe or from celine or from any of these bags like honestly a basket bag from any brand is going to run you 300 plus even the contemporary ones i know the tory birch one is 448 dollars and so something like this it has the elements of a very nice kind of basket bag, but it's very easy to wear every single day, if you know what I mean. Basket bags are very delicate. I've had quite a few Loewe basket bags, and um, I have the Paula Visa Club one, and it's just super delicate for me. It is so hard to maintain. It's very easy to lose its shape. You pack it wrong on a trip, and the bag is done for. It's really hard to get its shape back. This, since it has a mixture of leather and it has kind of like that raffia detail, you get the versatility of you can use it every day. You don't have to worry about babying it as much, but it's still a very practical handbag. And it does have a compartment on the inside. It comes with the signature dog tag. It has these beautiful tassels. It is more on the smaller side, but like I said, I think that this is a great handbag. So if you do want to get that basket bag, that raffia, that very summer vibes, cause spring vibes, because you know summer's right around the corner, you guys, especially here in Texas, se pone muy calor de volada. I would say for under 200 bucks, you can't go with this. Not really gonna recommend the black one. I think black straw bags are not my favorite for the spring and summer. I definitely would go for the gold one. And like I said, perfect size classic bag but it has a seasonal twist to it now this one is a bag that i typically wouldn't recommend because you guys know i'm not a big monogram person and i will be making a video on monograms because apparently what i've been talking about for the last few years about me loving the robe Brunello Cuccinelli has been coming through with this new money old money debate i will make a video about that because i definitely have some very strong opinions about that and that's coming from somebody from nope from nothing so tune for that amigas because that video 
I'm gonna knock it out the park for you guys. This is gonna be the Rowan Satchel in signature canvas with choke feet print. Now, the reason why I love this, reaches for $428, it is $171, it comes in the white and in the classic coach monogram. I'm going to recommend the classic coach one. The reason why I love this bag is not only does it is like a take on a Louis Vuitton Speedy, style Prada did, like, I want to say a few years ago in Velvet, and I loved it, but it was Velvet, and you guys know Velvet is very delicate, and I like that it's very cartoony, it's very different, I feel like this is for somebody that already has a lot of classics, that already has a, like a lot of core bags, but want to add something fun funky but still goes with everything under 200 bucks i think you can't go wrong with this like i said when i saw this i immediately thought of this prada style handbag and i was like oh my god this is like the more wearable style because but like i said though it's very very delicate and this is 200 dollars it's nice it's cute it's a little trendy but it's not the end of the world because it's not like three four five six seven eight thousand dollars but it is a fun take so if you have been wanting a nice quirky one little prada style little louis vuitton x I think this is great. Not comparing them to, to to those brands, but that's the vibes that I kind of get with it. It has a long strap, crossbody shoulder, cookie arm. You already know the deal. Small enough to wear it as an everyday bag. So I'm gonna say yes. And I have seen this bag in person, and I think it is so fun. I think it is so quirky. There are a lot of other uh, like type of this style a collection on the Coach Outlet website. Next two bags are gonna be from Kate Spade Surprise, which is their off price. One is from full price, one is from off promo, but I still think that they're really great buys. The first one, I actually saw this on TikTok and I saw it and I automatically knew. This was what actually made me want to film this video and the Rogue bag. This is the uh, Kate Spade Puffy Top Panel Crossbody 429. It is 169. It comes in a white and kind of like a pinky color. I'm going to recommend the white one. So if you guys have been wanting a Coach Pillow Bag, which is right now in the US, $550, my bad. I think pillow bags are very fun. Jock Moose has their version of a pillow bag. I think all these brands are starting to come out with their pillow. Prada has a lot of pillow bag styles right now. Um, they're calling it like in inflated because you know of inflation um that's what jeremy scott said in one of his recent well one of his last mosquito collections so every time i think of that i think of like inflation inflatable uh, instead of using the word kind of pillow and so i think that this is a very current style on a classic uh, style handbag it's it's top handle it's white i was going to recommend how do you clean your white handbags uh, mr clean at magic eraser extra strength um you can it's safe to use even on white because it has no dyes on it so um nothing's gonna happen to the bag i would just clean it as uh, it gets dirty or the areas that you need it obviously don't wear it with brand new denim or brand new trousers that's a give, given but i thought i would say that um but it's beautiful it's nice and it's puffy it looks like it's not super super puffy i also seen it like i said on that tiktok video it's nice and it's puffy but it's not too much i think it's the perfect amount and i think for 169 um i don't think you can go wrong with it the next handbag is from the full price range and this is the knox canvas medium satchel this one reaches for 348 and it is 139 60% off and this one's in the color blazer blue and i think that this is also kind of like a fun way of wearing a kind of like a summer bag or when like a summer spring bag but without fully committing towards it because it has the beautiful canvas with leather around it but it has that really nice thicker kind of guitar and mark jacob snapshot style thick strap on it so it kind of gives it a nice balance of it very being very like chic but it also has it a little bit more of edgy with the strap i do like this i think this is a nice style when i worked at nordstrom this was a style that i would sell and people would really enjoy it like i said it's a very classic handbag but uh, on a fun take and i think navy is all year round color or blue so if you do have a lot of denim in your collection the canvas is kind of a blue color it has a darker navy throughout it i find you can wear lots and lots of different variations of denim i find that since the bag is very sophisticated i find that it kind of elevates the outfit a little bit more and so i do want to recommend that and like i said this one is from the kate spade full price range so you are getting a lot more bang for your buck when you do get full price items that are not made for the outlet. This is probably my second favorite handbag uh, in this entire video. This is the Angus shoulder bag. It reaches for two hundred and forty-eight dollars. It's one seventy-nine, and on the and on the Carl Lagerfeld website, they are doing thirty percent off, and I believe it will apply by the time this video. So it makes it only a hundred and twenty-five dollars, and you get free shipping. That's insane. 135 with tax here in Houston um, with tax and shipping and everything. 
This is a bag under $150 that's actually really well made. So this is in the this is in the pink color. So if you guys know Carl Lagerfeld is the creative director of Chanel or once was. Rest in peace. He is the theme of the Met Gala this year. And right now, if you go into Chanel boutiques, if you go watch other uh, beautiful luxury YouTubers, if they're into the Chanel boutiques and you see the videos, what do they what what does Chanel have in the boutiques a lot? A lot of pink. A lot of pinks. And, you know, I know a lot of people like to play down that it's Karl Lagerfeld's brand, that it's not as good. Honestly, a Chanel Classic Flap that's $10,000, um, that the quality is not there. I think $125, I'd rather take that all day, every day. Um, I've already talked about these bags. You guys have seen them in blogs when I go into Dillard's, Macy's, um, the actual Kirk Geiger outlet in San Marcos, um, and in the Houston Premium outlets. You guys see me rant and rave about them. I've seen a lot of you guys buy them, and you always tag me on Instagram. The bags are really well made, so when I promise you, you are getting quality with this bag and the fact that it's under $150, the fact that if you go to the Chanel boutiques right now and pink is everywhere in the boutiques, I feel like this is like the perfect time to get this bag and it's also spring, so you know you can wear it with a beautiful white blouse like this, you can wear it with blue de like lighter blue denim, I think that'd be really pretty with a ballerina flaps, which is another kind of trending classic item that I've been seeing a lot. I think that this is beautiful, I think the fabric is really nice, I think the hardware, when you feel these bags are very substantial and if any of you guys have a flap style handbag, definitely leave your thoughts and your opinions down below because I've seen nothing but love from this brand. And like, is this probably the lowest price point bag or the second to lowest price point bag in this video <clears throat> that I can pick outside of the rogue that I would get in this entire video? So I've been wanting a, like a classic flap style handbag, well made, that's in season, that's right now. Goes with like lighter colors for the spring. I think this one is perfect. And like I said, 135 with tax. Cannot get any better than that. One is going to be from Miss Troy Birch. I know I have not talked about Miss Troy Birch in my channel for quite a bit. That's a whole other that's a whole other video for a whole other day. Like I have so many video ideas. Um, but the bag in question is the Mini Perry Tote. Retails for $2.98 and it is on sale for about like 30% off for $2.09 in the color patina. Kind of like in this like lighter green color with silver hardware. You guys already know how I feel about green bags, green wallets. Gives you good luck, gives you good fortune. I think there's no, I think everybody needs to have at least one green bag or SOG in their collection. Um, St. Patrick's Day, I think just green is such a beautiful color. It's such an underrated color. I think for me, outside of like black, white, and the grays and the, and the denim colors, um, I think green is probably my next favorite color after that. I just think it's bring good luck, good fortune, good vibes. And this bag is a little bit more on the smaller side. I feel like you can get away with wearing this. Um, day and night you can't fit your cell phone in this a card case your card keys your lip balm a little bit of the essentials phone card case keys your, your rare beauty lip oil and you are good to go next one is going to be from Nordstrom Rack and this is a handbag brand that I don't care for a lot at all and you guys have seen me talk about this bag this brand negatively before but if there was one bag in my time at Nordstrom that I did love selling if there was a one or two that I would pick it is this one. So this is from Kurt Geiger. They discontinued this bag in the full price market, but they made the off, they sent it to the off price. But I think even at the off price, it was still a good buy. Even at full price, people still bought it. Um, this is the Kurt Geiger London Violet Leather Tote. They have it in the gray color, and it is $119 from $240. This bag, when it first came out, all the girls in cosmetics bought it. I remember one girl from Hourglass, she bought it, and she was ranting and raving. And then, like, next thing you know, like, six or seven, within the course of, like, two, three months, uh, all the beauty girls, because we had a really pretty beauty department in North Park Center, 723, all the girls bought them. So you couldn't tell anybody. Everybody in the beauty department had it. Especially, I think we had, like, house, like, 30, 40% off. Everybody had this bag. You couldn't tell anybody. It was like the throw-all, be-all bag. Because, you know, when you work at beauty, you get a lot of samples. You get a lot of gratis. You can, you can just live your best life. I think this one's made in Italy. It has no hardware. So, you can really wear black. Like, black gunmetal. Over rose gold. Gold. You can wear it. It's made in Italy. It packs super flat. This is really easy to store, too. If you're really bad on storage, this is flat. It flats really well. Um, it smells really good in leather. And if you go on the Nordstrom Rack website, there's a video of a lady talking about the bag. 
so it goes to show you that it was once at a full price item it's not an item necessarily made for Nordstrom Rack or outlet this was once a full price item so I think you're getting a lot of bang for your buck for this so if you do want kind of like a nice carryall tote that's not black that flats easy that has no hardware that's very easy carefree like me amiga you guys know I'm very like carefree I'm always on the go I can't nothing nothing niego I do love this bag a lot this is probably my favorite Kirk Geiger bag. Then the last two are gonna be from Mr. Course. How could we not bring Mr. Course into this video? I have two styles. One is gonna be originally $3.98, it's gonna be $1.99. This is the Piper Small Embellished Suede Shoulder Bag. This is kind of like a Prada kind of crystal style bag. The reason why I love this bag is because uh, with a lot of these crystal bags, especially if you wear it with your clothing, like the crystal facing you, it could tug at your clothes, it could damage your clothes. And I know I was getting questions when this bag first came out. I was getting emails and DMs about it. How do you feel about it? Do you like it? Do you not like it? I like it because when you wear it like as a crossbody or as a shoulder, it's not tugging at your clothes. So I find that it's gonna make the bag, it's gonna make your clothes wear nicer and also it's not gonna damage the bag. Because when I have the Kogaya crystal bag, uh, that's a whole other video that I already made a few videos ago. It would tug at my clothes, the rhinestones would pop off. It was just a hot mess, even like after the first, second time wearing it. So I think this is perfect. I think it is a good size. It's kind of like that Prada uh, nylon size. So I think it's a nice proportion size. I only wear this during the day and it's such an easy transitional nighttime bag. This is a beautiful dinner bag, a beautiful going out bag um, that goes with everything. I think for $1.99, you can't really go wrong with it. And the last bag that I'm gonna recommend you guys is going to be the Soho Small Quote leather shoulder bag you guys know I have two of these I have them in the navy and in the brown um, this bag is what solidified my relationship with Michael Kors if you guys have seen my videos um, so I, I feel like this bag definitely brings back home memories um, this bag is $3.98 it is $1.19 I don't know what it is about gray bags the Kargeiger bag was great this one is gray I'm just a sucker for gray bags I think gray is an all-year-round color and I kind of want this bag just because it, it's just such an easy wearable bag. My Soho bags from Michael Kors are very easy. It's nice, beautiful, soft leather. Um, the branding is very minimal. It just kind of goes with everything. You can really run out the door. I haven't had any issues with both of mine. And for $119 from $400, you honestly can't go wrong. I have so many videos on the Michael Kors stuff if you want to watch them throughout my channel. But yeah, guys, these are going to be the top 10 favorite handbags under 250 for the month of April that I recommend. Uh, I, I do want to make this a monthly thing because I feel like it's kind of fun. You, you guys know I love full price, I love off price, I love contemporary, I love designer, I love the highs, I love the lows. You guys know I love it all. I'll wear a H&M jacket with a Brunello Cucinelli pants and that's how I keep it moving, honey. That's how I love my, my lifestyle. I like a little bit of high and low, you know what I mean? If you guys get any of these bags, I want to hear it down below. If you guys have any of these bags, uh, I want to hear it down below. If there's any other handbag brands that you want me to mention, uh, Charles and Keith should be one of the next ones you should be seeing pretty, pretty soon on the channel. Introductory. But yeah, I want to say thank you. Thank you so much for watching this video, guys. Thank you. Thank you so much. And I'll see you guys on Monday's video. Los quiero todos. Ciao. And all the links for everything will be linked down below. Hi, right, guys. Se cuida mucho. Have a fabulous weekend.